All right, today I'm going to show you how to do this uh, header, which, you know, uh, changes its styles up on scroll, you know, as you can see. And then, you know, when it goes back, it goes back to the same style again. And yeah, so it's basically a simple concept is that. And then you know, I've seen a lot of websites that utilize this, which is, I think it's a cool animation. And yeah, I will just show you how to do this in Angular. And uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead. All right, so first of all, um, I just created a uh, example project uh, by just using the Angular default command, right? So if you guys don't know about that, then install Angular, then just type like ng new your example project, right? So example would be your project name, and that's that. And after that, I just have this, right? So let's just open the uh, application page, component page. So you have your component HTML and CSS, right? So let's just try to do everything on the single page right here, which is kind of like, you know, uh, one file is, you know, doing everything, right? So in here, let's do some cleanups. So we don't need the spec file for this example because this spec file is just for um, testing purposes, right? And the HTML, we don't really need it because, um, you know, we're not going to be using HTML file. We're just going to be using it on the component file itself. And then also the CSS file, we don't really need it. Also, we can, uh, you know, write styles inside the component as well. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. So right now we don't have template URLs. We don't have any files. We don't have any style URLs, right? And also we don't really need the router outlet in here because we, there's no navigation, right? We don't need navigation right now. Of course you do in a real project, but you know, right now let's just get rid of this. And then, yeah, so this should be your bare bone um, file, but there's also a required like template, right? So template is going to be your bare bones HTML. So let's just do like, um, hello, right? Hello world. So this is going to be your bare minimum Angular application right here. I also don't need this title variable again. So let's just save this and then do ng serve, which is going to run your code, right? Uh, nope. And you know, this standalone true is not really required. I mean, not required. Yeah, yeah, it's not required, but default is going to be false. So that's why I really need to show like a standalone is true. So, I mean, it is a modern and a of uh, coding, right? So I would really like to have that here. Okay, so we have the two HTMLs here, not two HTMLs, the HTML here on the right. So we have the hello world, right? The reason it looks so big is because I zoomed in. So if it looks by default, it will show like that, but let's just zoom in to see more, right? Okay, let's start. So first of all, let's uh, try to do something like, let's just put the import up top. Um, and uh, on the template we have the body and the header, right? So let's just do like header and then maybe your, um, what did I say? Like, uh, my web page, web site, I guess, web, uh, website. And then you have your body, right? Not body. I guess it's, it's, I'll just say main because we already have a body HTML, which is a, a, which is already taken. Right. So let's just do some like H ones in here, like, um, chapter, chapter one, and then let's just copy this over and over. And also, in, if you guys are using VS Code, you don't need to highlight copy. You can just press copy, and then it will just copy instantly. So that's a neat trick. Um, because that just default, by default, it just copies every line. Okay, that's the current line. Okay, so let's just do this, and then see what happens. So we have the chapters, and we have the headers, right? So let's do some stylings in here. Um, so stylings, you can do here styles and then you can just open like a quote here and then say okay for a header i'm gonna have a what did i say i think I, i'm gonna choose the colors correctly in here okay so in the header i said the background color is initially going to be like black right background color Okay, so we have background color is black. And also that you can see there's like a margin in here, right? So this is not related to this component, but it's related to the um, application itself. So let's just get rid of that. It's kind of annoying, right? So in, in, in your styles.css, you can change the margin to zero, and then you can get rid of the margin in there. So um, in here, uh, the background is black. And also, I guess I'll change the font color as well. Font color, let's just say white because we have your website here and uh, you obviously need some sort of height, right? So let's just do a height. Let's just do like 80 pixels. It's going to be your 80 pixel height here. And since the label should be centered, let's just do like flex box to center this, right? So display flex. And then since this is going to be default by row, we have to use align items center. 
if it was like horizontal, then we have to use justify items, right? I mean, justify content. So yeah, so now we have the label centered. Um, yeah, that's that's like the basic uh, styling for the navigation, right? And then let's do the chapter stylings quickly. So let's just do like H1 height is like maybe 40 pixels or something. Let's just do like 60 pixels, right? Okay. Maybe 60 pixels is not that much. Uh, let's do like 200 pixels. Okay, so we have a bunch of chapters here like that. Okay, cool. Um, now let's do the sticky one, right? So if I scroll, then it should be sticky on top, right? So let's do that. So in order to do that, we have to use a position element and say it's fixed, right? But if I do that, then it's a kind of weird, right? So there are a couple of reasons for that. So position fixed means it's like uh, the element is going to be on top of your HTML, right? So that's why we don't need... Uh, we don't we have to specify like hey which coordinates are these are gonna be sticky to right so that's that's why we need top zero left zero which is gonna be the top left corner of this uh, page so this is gonna be your top left right and also like since this is no longer like um gonna be on the main HTML the width is like you know as much as as needed right so now let's we have to do like width hundred percent in here in order to across go across and there's also a couple of problems right chapter one is going to be behind so let's just fix that so let's bring chapter one on front right but i think there there are like many ways of doing this but i think the most um non-annoying way of doing it would be to style the main section i think let's just do main and then top margin top would be your height, right? So essentially, like, I'm going to have 80 pixels of margin top, then you have your chapter one. Wait, what, what happened? Okay, yeah, there we go. I did not scroll up top. Okay, so yeah, now you have your, um, like, sticky header, which is, uh, well, which is, like, the first step, right? Okay, that's good. Okay, so the next step is to have the styling after scrolling, right? So let's do that. So let's just create, like, a dot scrolled class, which is going to be, like, after you scroll, that's going to be my style, right? So in there, Let's do background color is, what did I say? Background color is gonna be, okay. So this is like one of the good colors I always use. 33, 66, 99, it's really easy to remember also. And now let's try to use this uh, class on my uh, header, right? So just say class and just see to what we'll see what, what it looks like. Okay, so we have, I have blue color and then the, let's just do the font color as well. So we have this black, uh, let's just do black. Okay, so after it's scrolled, it's going to be like that. And then, you know, if I go top, it's going to be the previous runner. So, I, so if I delete this, then this is going to be my top style. And then if I scroll, then it, this is going to be my scrolled style, right? Pretty simple. So now what you need to do is basically inject this class whenever it's scrolled and then, you know, delete this class whenever it's not scrolled, right? So that's the, the basic idea. So in order to do that, uh, I can create like a um header class variable which you know it's going to be empty initially and then after it's scrolled down i can change it to this string right scrolled and then it will change um it's you know styling based on the class name right so let's do that and then in order to listen to uh, the scroll events there's a um an angular any event is called like host listener so you have to use like host listener to listen to any sort of event like you know scrolling clicking or a keyboard event or whatever right but in uh, for uh, the scroll event there's a thing called window and scroll so you're listening to the window but you're specifically looking for the scroll event right okay and then i'm just going to create like a class not class function saying on scroll which is going to be you know my function Whenever I scroll, this function is going to be called. So let's just test that, right? So let's just test, like, hello. Like whenever I scroll, this should be called, right? And this name can be anything, too. I mean, it doesn't have to be on scroll. So let's just save that, and then let's just see if it is actually showing, right? So hello, hello. So if I scroll, it just prints hello, right? So this is exactly what we want. So now, now next idea is, okay, whenever it's scrolled, I have to check the current uh, coordinate, right? So what is the current coordinate I have to check. And then if that coordinate is zero, essentially meaning it's at the top, then I, you know, change the styling. And then if it's greater than zero, I change to change it to back, right? So um, I can do this. If window dot scroll y, this is going to be your current 
coordinate of the screen. So if that is like, let's say greater than zero, right? That means I have to change this header class string into scroll. And that's it pretty much. So let's try this, right? And then, um, so I try, I uh, binded this uh, uh, variable here, but I also have to connect it to here, right? Now in here, uh, there are a couple of ways of doing it. So essentially, if you want to do the results right away, you can do this, like open uh, double uh, curly braces and then just put the header class variable here, which means this is going to be your variable and then it's going to be injected to your class, right? So this definitely works. So let's do scroll and then it just works, right? And then also there's another problem of like, hey, if I go back, it doesn't change, right? So let's just fix that. And then the fix is going to be, that's going to be an else statement. And then on the else, I just put it to empty, right? Okay. So if I do that, then whenever I scroll, it's blue. And then whenever I go scroll top, oh, it didn't go back. That is so weird. Um, I guess this the way this method doesn't work on the case then. So that's why I don't really recommend this method at all. So there's an, another way of doing it, which, you know, let's just try again. That's weird. Okay, it doesn't work. Okay, never mind. So this was a really bad way of doing it. Um, you have you don't you're not supposed to be putting variables inside of like this class element. So there is like a another uh, attribute that is Angular specific that does this for you. So it's called ng class. So ng class is exactly exactly the same as class, but you're injecting like variable in it, right? So and then you put it inside of a square uh, parentheses so that you can use your variable uh, here. So let's just do that. So if you don't put square braces, right, this is just gonna, this is just gonna, gonna be become like string, right? So what you don't want to be string, you want to be variable. So that's why you put square brackets. And also, if you want to use this, you have to import it here, ng class. And then I think this is capital N. Yep. And then you have to import it from Angular Common. Okay, now you're successfully injected the header class. Okay, let's try now. Um, so this is like the best practice of way of doing it. So scroll and scroll top. Oh, I guess this is not, huh? That is so weird. Why is this happening? Background color, scroll, header class, header class. Wait, Timmy, am I going top? Like, what's going on here? Let's just try window screen Y. Yeah, that is correct. So maybe I'm not going all the way to the top. Let's just console log this. Oops. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of that. I don't know. I don't want that. I want, um, I don't know. I don't want any phones. Okay. So scroll. Huh? Oh, no. Window dot screen. Why? I think, oh yeah, yeah no, it's not screen. Why it's scroll. Why? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So scroll. Why is the correct term? I missed that part. Okay. So now if I scroll down, it works. If I scroll up, it also works. Nice. Nice. And also I'm pretty sure like the old method should work as well. So if I do like class of like, um, header class, this should work. So scroll up, scroll up. Yep. It does work, but also you can do this square brackets and then just put this thing, right? It's the same thing. I mean, it's, it's just like, you you're doing the same thing three uh, different variables right i mean do three different um uh, tricks i guess but i would not recommend doing this i would recommend doing ng class for sure like don't do this at all like you use ng class and then better class like yeah this is the way it's supposed to be okay so now you have the background changing font color changing right but now like the touch would be just adding animation right and adding animation is super easy you just do like transition and then just add the 0.5 second or something like that's going to be your animation duration right so if i do this and if i scroll down that's going to be the animation yeah that's it that's all it is and then also i mean if you know animation you can play around with it anything right so you can um uh change the uh what is it called like delay you can change the delay and as well as you can um at the transition uh, ease in and out, like how do you want to ease it out, ease it in, right? So those kind of be kind of you can customize that, and also you can make transition into specific things, right? Okay, so I want to transition the font color, I want to transition the background color, 
the same duration or different durations, you can change that. But for now, for this video, let's just stick with like the simplest transition there is, which is going to be transitioning every, uh, you know, styling there is. Uh, not every styling there is, but every styling that these two are different, then they just do it like 0.5 second, um, you know, anim animating during, a, I guess, the transition element, anim animating, yeah. Okay, so that's um, going to be it, right, pretty much. Um, and did I miss anything else? I think that's about it. Oh, yeah, I guess, like, no, no, like, you don't have, have to have, like, 50, you know, no, sorry, zero in here, you can have 50, so that as soon as you do like 50 pixels, it just starts that. So I think this is might be better. Like depending on the website, I think greater than zero is maybe too much. Like just you want to animate it slightly after the scrolling, right? And as a bonus, I guess we can also do this as like a signal, right? So if you want to do this as a signal, I mean this is perfectly fine solution. But nowadays Angular is becoming like more signal approached uh, language. So uh, let's just do the signal, right? So do a signal, and then empty string, right? And then you want to do like this dot set scrolled and then let's just do set empty right and then you have to call it by like function like that so now this is like fully like modern angular <laughs> application now it, it, it doesn't rely on ng uh, zone ng or whatever zone js right so um yeah that's gonna be it and it does work as expected let's just refresh and try again Yep, it does work. Okay, so now you can learn how to do like these kind of like new, um, not new, I guess. I, the website that I've visited nowadays, like it, it did have these kinds of animations. So it's pretty cool, it, pretty, pretty cool looking. And uh, yeah, this is really simple, I would say. And uh, it will hopefully make your site a little bit better. And then, yeah, that's about it. All right, if you have any questions, then let me know. And uh, see you guys later.